New tonight, the interrogation inside the mind of a man accused of murdering an Orlando woman. Police say Stephen Duxbury raped Sasha Samsadine, then killed her inside her own home. And tonight, we have the interview of officers trying to get answers. Sean Chaibot is live in downtown Orlando, where Samsadine's body was found. Sean. Yeah, police say that suspect was a security guard here at Uptown Place, and now we have learned that he failed a lie detector test. Newly released documents show how detectives wove together their case against Stephen Duxbury. Police say the Uptown Place security guard followed Sasha Samsudeen into her apartment, raped and killed her last October. Police had mounting physical evidence like footprints and defensive wounds. Police say Duxbury strangled her, then rolled her body in a comforter and covered it in bleach. But police wanted a confession. Duxbury agreed to take a polygraph test that experts say he failed. There was a 99.7% chance he lied on key questions like, did you enter Sasha's apartment that night? No. Did you know who caused Sasha's death? No. Did you cause the death of Sasha? No. And did you remove any items from Sasha's apartment? No. All throughout the test, Duxbury complained of medical issues, wondering if they might skew the results. When the test ended, detectives tried to get that confession. Duxbury still denied everything, but at one point, he said, obviously, this doesn't look good for me. We have also learned that Duxbury says he has a juvenile record. In fact, he told police that at 15 years old, he pleaded guilty to hitting a babysitter in the head with a shovel. Lisa? All right, Sean Chai about reporting live in Orlando tonight. Thank you.